this is Diane Dragone for Dance Vista, and I'm sitting here with Sweet Pea. Uh, this is a little different show than you usually see. Today we are um, going to talk about what dance companies do to raise money. We're going to show you what the Kennedy dancers uh, did to raise money. It's, it's my dance company. She's a little anxious tonight. I'm going to let her go because she hears some people and she wants to run, so she'll roam around a little bit. Anyway, I think most of you know how difficult it is to be an artist today, particularly a dance artist. And um, there's a lot of problems raising money. There are very few grants, whether they're corporate grants or foundation grants. There are very few grants from the government, particularly National Endowment for the Arts. So you have to be inventive, uh, have fundraisers that will allow you to entertain people, bring money in, and, and do things that you really want to do. And one of the things that the Kennedy dancers really have wanted to do for a number of years is have their own building. We are currently in a very nice building. It's a business building in Jersey City, New Jersey, at 130 Central Avenue. But we bought a building about three blocks south from here, and that building is a mess right now. And hopefully it's going to house two dance studios, um, music and a dance space, a music and, uh, s and vocals room, Upstairs will be Tom's television studio. Tom is the producer of Dance Vista, Tom Horan. And also we'll have some uh, space for theater and uh, dramatic arts so that we can put on dance and theater productions as well. And it'll be also a performance area where we'll have poetry readings and play readings and dance concerts. So this is a real goal and a dream of ours for a number of years. I'm going to show you what it will look like the finished product, and this is the finished product. So I hope you can see this. Are we okay here? That looks real pretty, right? Yeah, it looks real pretty. We have one hitch, though. We need money, and I'm talking a lot of money. And we don't have many grants. We've applied to a lot of grants. So if you are happy to help us uh, send us a donation, yeah, certainly can do that. We are a tax-deductible company. It's the Kennedy Dancers, 130 Central Avenue, New Jersey City, New Jersey. And our zip code is 07306. But I'm really going to show you now is uh, part of our fundraiser that we had uh, a few months back. And during that fundraiser, we did a comedy sketch called The History of Italy in 30 Minutes. And it was a parody, a comic takeoff on some famous Italian characters. But in order to get an audience there, we uh, asked some of the local politicians, including Jersey City Mayor Brett Schundler, the former mayor of Jersey City, Tom, um, Jerry McCann, and, oh, uh, there, there's a bunch, Freeholder Maurice Fitzgibbon, uh, Freeholder Hank Gallo, Tom Frischone was a former member of the Jersey City Council, um, the mayor of Hoboken, Anthony Russo, and also Assemblywoman, uh, Joan Quigley, and I think I hit everybody, just about. Oh, and the, the uh, lady that leads the whole uh, comedy sketch is called Susan Murphy. Her name is Susan Murphy, and it's kind of funny, so I thought we'd show you that, and this is what we do to raise money, so it's for the arts. Willful, superfluous action. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Shut off, eh? Shut that stuff off. They don't want to see this. What is this? You don't want to see this garbage, do you? This is not Italy. Italy not like this. Some boring man standing looking like stupid. The history of Italy is the history of the people. I got a book myself. I'll show you the book. Carry all the time with me. It's like a Bible. I love this book. Look, the history of the love side. Right here, I tell you everything that you want to know about the love side. Julius Caesar, eh? You know who I mean? Julius Caesar, it says here that he was the Roman dictate. What's a dictate? When the Romans conquered Great Britain, they named one of the Channel Islands between Britain and France, Jersey. Our first English governor of New Jersey was the 
son of the governor of that island of Jersey. And indeed, Jersey is the Latinized version of the word Caesar. The seal of the state of New Jersey reads Nova Cesare, or New Jersey. And the city of Jersey City means Caesar City. So if politics in Caesar City and Hudson County sometimes seems to be filled with bloodthirsty gladiators in the arena who are trying to climb on the heap of political power, it's because of our history. They call him the father of modern political thought. His name was Machiavelli. Sometimes they call him McCann-Ivelli. Niccolo Machiavelli is the father of modern political thought. He looked at the Romans and compared their successful example to modern day political figures. He believed that the most important personality trait of a successful ruler was the ability to instill fear in his subjects. It reminds me of somebody today. You know that the Roman Empire lasted more than 800 years. Think about that. More than 800 years they were in power. Now that's a political organization. Where's that blueprint? You know, a long time ago, in the Renaissance, they have lots of artists. They have uh, uh, Raphael, Da Vinci, you know these guys? There was one guy, he was my favorite, I'm not gonna even say, you know who I mean, Michelangelo. Oh, Michael, look, you here. Hello, Mike. Oh, yeah, go. I could do this in about a half hour. Is Catholic Church? My price is double when it's not Catholic Church. Listen, Michael, hi, my, my name is Caterina Siciliani, but you can call me Kathy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hello, Mona, how you doing? Listen, I love your stuff. You do such gorgeous stuff. I was wondering, could you sign my book over here, The History of the Love Star? Yes. I love one of you. Wait, let me get a pen. Oh, thank you, so beautiful. Thank you, oh my God, I love it. You know, the Beata and La Madonna, Jose Hassan, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no! with the boys, oh, how come there's no girls when you sing that? All the time I see boys, boys, boys. You tramp too? No room in my image of you. Who are you now? I'm Sophia Loren. And as an Italian woman of substance, I am proud of a culture that respects its mother. Most of the time. And I am also proud of a culture that loves art, music, and lots of good food. Gonna make a oh my God! Oh my God! Is the president not? Oh my God! What do I do now, for Christ's sake? Who are you? I'm the greatest Italian singer of all times. And who are you? I'm the greatest Italian American singer of all times. Where are you from? I'm from beautiful Napoli. And where are you from? Hoboken. Hoboken? Where is that? Dark one 
the most beautiful thing in all the history of Italy, all the history of Italian America, was no Cicero, was no Plotinus, was not even Mario Cuomo. It was Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra say, listen up, because I've got nothing to say, and I'm only going to say it once. It ain't over until it's over. Grazie. Hi, welcome back to Dance Vista. This is Diane Dragone and Sweet Pea, our mascot Sweet Pea, in our opening segment here. I hope you enjoyed the scenes that you just saw from our very recent fundraiser for the Kennedy Dancers. It's the company that I'm the director of. And this fundraiser, any monies that we did make, goes towards the improvement and the development of our new building located at 79 Beacon Avenue in Jersey City, New Jersey. I'm sorry, it's Beacon and Central. It's 79 Central Avenue in Jersey City, but it's the corner of Beacon and Central. And I just wanted to let the audience at home know these are the things that we need to go through and do to have fun, to spread the word about the dance company, to promote the arts, and to include the community. So uh, I thought it was fun. There were some really funny moments in there and uh, some ironic moments, too. The next thing we're going to do today is, is show you a piece of my choreography called The Warlord of Marion. And like the history of Italy, this too was videotaped a different date, but it was videotaped at the Grace Church in downtown Jersey City, the corner of 3rd and Erie Street. And Grace Church has been very kind to the Kennedy dancers and to other arts organizations by allowing us to perform there and also to show your work there if you were a visual artist. It's one of the very few venues in Jersey City where an artist can be seen. And I think a lot of artists throughout the nation have a very similar problem. There are no places to show your work unless you pay a lot of money, and most artists don't have a lot of money. Anyhow, The Warlord of Marion is a piece about a friend of mine. And I say a friend, I mean it. Uh, about a gentleman that I know since I'm about 12 years old. And he has a very unusual lifestyle. And that lifestyle, of course, it it can be conflicting with my own and with most people, but he um, was a tough guy and uh, sort of reformed now, but things happened in his life that have happened, I mean, they couldn't equal anyone's life, and the things that happened were, um, were hard, were difficult times, were tragic times. Uh, some he may have created himself, uh, somewhere he was just unlucky, but is the most unusual life, not, not a life like the average Joe. He is not the average Joe. The choreography is based, and not loosely, very closely on a real person, and parts of it are funny, and parts of it are sad, uh, but I, I think that, I think you'll enjoy seeing The Warlord of Marion. It is a compilation of a man's life. Okay, the tape recorder's rolling now. I like to take some notes for each therapy session. Just relax, then let me know why you're here and start at the beginning. Everybody said I was a beautiful baby. You know, born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Maybe a stolen spoon. What was that? Nothing.
don't want you to get the wrong idea here. It wasn't a bed of roses. I was lucky. I was lucky to be alive. By the time I was 17, I must have had every bone in my body broken. But it made me a man of character. I ruled Jersey City. They used to call me the Warlord of Marion. Every chick wanted me. I had to fight them off with a stick. And cars? Like my women, my cars were hot and fast. My mother warned me about fast women. She never warned me about fast cars or Vietnam. At that time, it was Vietnam or jail. So I chose Vietnam. Looking back, jail would have been better. All I remember about Nam is death all around me and Jimi Hendrix music. <laughs> I've always felt a man has many sides. I can be lethal. I'm a real killer. People fear my name. Even movie stars know my name. One time on the Pulaski Skyway, I fixed a flat tire for Whitney Houston. 
She told me she loved me. I know Frankie Valley. He liked me when we was both growing up. If I need him, he'd come, no questions asked. So would Patrick Swayze. See, Swayze's like me. He's not afraid of his feminine side. I can be very domestic, you know. I've been a searching all this big wide world. Now finally I found my candy. I never leave Jersey City. Too afraid. I, I, I get these panic attacks. Can't go in elevators or tunnels either. I can only leave if I'm on the water. <laughs> yeah, I, I love my wife and kids, but I love the sea. See, that's my first love. I can go there when I'm depressed. Drive my boat, sea dancer. Or I can fish. Sometimes fishing is like politics in Jersey City. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, I, I stopped fishing in the Hackensack River, not, not because the water's polluted and there's enough toxins to make it glow in the dark. I stopped fishing there because it got too dangerous. As we stroll along Together, holding hands, walking all alone. We so in love are we two that we don't know? We so in love in a world of our own. So in love as we walk.
I've seen some very hard times in my life. I've been in jail, my brother's death. I was a prisoner of war in Vietnam, hung upside down in a net for 22 hours, then two months as a POW. Only I would reel in an active Mark II anti-personnel grenade used during World War II. I knew, I knew if I even moved slightly, it could explode. I felt it get hot in my hands, and I, I knew I should throw it. We walk. 